everything, a horse, a vine, is created for some duty. For what task, then, were you yourself created? A man's true delight is to do the things he was made for. Marcus Aurelius Purpose Truly a very complex term to dissect. Every man wonders to some extent what is the particular definitive reason why they are on this planet for. Only few eventually understand and got their answers. But for most men, it is simply a chasm of haze where nothing seems to provide any clarity. Purpose, to all of us, is the reason to live, or the meaning of life. Why are we here for? Is it just to enjoy Earth's wonders? Is it only to create memories until our inevitable death? Or is it only to eventually embrace our next of kin and watch them grow? While all of those options are certainly idealistic, they don't provide any absolution to us at all. Many people had seen the world, experienced wonderful moments, and have many wonderful children, yet they still struggle to be happy and find fulfillment in their life. That's because they haven't found the thing called profound significance in their lives. Don't get me wrong though, while traveling around the world, creating good memories and having children are all relatively great feats to accomplish. They don't provide the same magnitude of significance as the moment you realize and experience the clarification of your purpose in life. Human beings' natural innate purpose is to pursue growth, and if we do not experience growth, we will eventually rot and die. That is why we get depressed when our life seems to be going nowhere. The feeling of being stuck and pointlessness starts to sink in. And we innately crave growth and novelty in some form to relieve us from all these parasitic disease that is slowly creeping up on us and suffocating us from the inside out. Just like an eagle, an eagle's purpose is to fly free and explore the continent, not being held in a cage as an exhibition for people to admire. They also innately want to hunt for food instead of being fed. And by neglecting their natural purpose, they are unknowingly killing themselves slowly. Growth can be in the form of many things, physical strength, mental strength, skills, knowledge, experience, social ability, wisdom, spirituality, the lot. But the thing is, unlike animals, growth itself is not enough for us. Our desires are boundlessly greater than animals. There needs to be significant growth and a meaningful applicable reason to that significant growth. Whatever form of growth you choose to be greatly significant in, be it physical or skills or mental or whatever, it is different from person to person. The more important thing is why you choose to be significant in that particular form of growth. There must be a bigger reason other than yourself to be profoundly significant in one faculty. Now, I probably got you gentlemen into a bit of a mental minefield here, but essentially what it means is that purpose is all about the combination of doing what you love and doing what the world needs. Doing what you love will create sustainability and passion for you to keep pursuing growth, and doing what the world needs will ensure that you have a greater reason or reasons other than yourself to leave a scratch mark on, or to eventually carve out your own legacy out of when you leave this world. Reasons that will provide to yourself your own worthiness and a worthwhileness of being alive. All the while being rewarded for it, of course. That is profound significance, gentlemen. Just like a king, a king pursues growth in his wealth, territory and influence. But does his purpose end then and there? A horrible king would. But a true good king that has a clear purpose uses his wealth and power for greater reasons other than himself, such as leading his people to greater prosperity by improving the quality of life, creating new establishments within his conquered lands to create new opportunities such as overseas trading, inspiring his people with his battle-tested and proven leadership character and wisdom that can be passed on to generation after generations, and eventually cementing his legacy as a king. That is purpose, gentlemen. Now. I'm not trying to be like other people who would tell you to just go for your passions, man. Well, you can certainly pursue profoundly significant growth in whatever it is that you truly love doing, whether it is art, engineering, business, psychology, music, biology, etc. If there is no particularly good reason other than yourself behind it, well, you won't feel empty because you are competent, but you certainly will feel useless, which is another form of emptiness. This is what most of those gurus seldom tell you, gentlemen. You must know that reason in order for you to fully realize your purpose in life. Passion itself is not enough. Growth itself is not enough. At the end of the day, that reason will always involve other people or the world. Whether you want to help, inspire, entertain, cure, fix, improve, or whatever form of positive and valuable conducts, it must involve other circumstances than just yourself. I'll give you gentlemen my own example. I love automobiles and engineering, and I love fitness and improving one's own physical strength and aesthetics. 
But back then, the only reason why I am passionate and competent in those areas are only for my own pleasure and fascination. And that is why I always feel like things that I love and I'm good at are meaningless, because they are for selfish reasons, only for me, no one and nothing else. It is only after I got brutally honest with myself that I can know my reason for living. What is it that gives me the greatest sense of fulfillment? And that reason is always about helping people to become the best version of themselves through the truth. Whatever your reason for living is, gentlemen, I cannot answer that. It is all your responsibility to answer, because only you know about it deep down in your heart of hearts. And gentlemen, it actually takes a lot of time for you to eventually experience that clarity. Some of you gentlemen may take days, weeks, months, or even years. But for some of you who are still relatively young, it may take even a very long time to eventually know the reason. Heck, it took me ten years to know my own reason and to finally realize my purpose, and had to go through contemplations of suicide. The important thing is, is that as you go through life. You have to do enough things. You have to try enough things. Make mistakes along the way. Identify your strengths and your weaknesses, and choose the faculties that fascinate you the most. Now, some of you gentlemen might be worried that I said that, but here's the thing, gentlemen: Would you rather die, eventually, being comfortable but useless, or would you rather die, being bruised but fulfilled in life? Thank you for watching.